When it comes to most of the characters in Smite, we have all these awesome gods, mythological figures, people like freaking Guan Yu that would just became deities because they were so awesome. And then, man, hey, we even have uh, sexy little cat girls, which, you know, I mean, if nothing really screams mythology like that. But then we have our Arthurian legend characters like Morgan Le Fay, who's basically just a straight up witch, which is pretty cool. I mean, you just get to go in there and sling some spells, and with this skin we have on today, we can do that even more. So, shout out to the comment on screen. So, hey, can I get some Morgan Le Fay? I think it might have even been a few different care uh, people, a few different comments. I, I kind of forget, to be honest with you, because I've tried to record this one many, many times over the past, like, two weeks, I think. Can't get a good match. Uh, I just got matchmaking diffed so many times. You guys, you've, you've heard me ranting about the matchmaking and just the games in general a little bit lately. And um, I know you feel the same way because you guys leave me comments and you leave me likes and you're like, yeah, no, the matchmaking sucks for literally all of us right now. So don't feel too left alone, Roger, like we are suffering too, um, which is, you know, it kind of makes me feel better because it's like, at least we suffer together, you know? So for the build here, we're going to go for a very quick uh, cooldown build, most likely with some big power in the end. Um, I'm just going to go for straight sands of time. And then we're going to go into a Book of Thoth and then finish third item with a Kronos Pendant. And then when we upgrade our start item, we'll that be full cooldown off of two items. And then we'll put some other things, probably like a Soul Gem and a Soul Reaver into our build, just on damage rock items so that we can chunk down things like this Cthulhu, especially when he's in his ultimate with some extra like percentage health and percentage magical power turned into true damage type stuff. Like that's what we're looking for. Now, before that... We have a pretty expensive start here, so we're going to go for something like a Beads or an Aegis. Um, looking at this team, I am honestly just going to go for an Aegis. The things we need to Beads are going to be a Slow from Nim, which I never want to use Beads on a Slow, a Root from Scylla, a Knockup from Redataskor, who I think is Solo, or a Petrify or a Knockup from uh, Cthulhu in his ult. Those things won't happen too often, most of those, especially not before we hit 12, hopefully. So we're going to hedge our bets and go for an Aegis, which is something we can pop as we get something like Renatasker knocked up and then just suck up all the damage after that. Uh, if we get Scylla rooted, we can just pop our Aegis and suck up all the extra damage, suck up her ult damage if it's going to hit us with uh, no really way for us to avoid it. Uh, have fun. Good luck. Looks like he's a nice guy. I appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll go for the Aegis here. Usually I go for the Beads first, but I think the Aegis will be a good play. And we'll try our best here and take a little sippies of water, if you don't mind. Because I just stopped for 40 minutes, and it was all completely wasted. And then I've been talking for the past two hours, and only got one recording out of it, because that's what's been my life for the past several days, because the matches have been doggy-doo. Anyways, let's talk about positive things, because I do like to keep it, keep it positive if we can, at least as long as we can. Uh, you know me, if I can keep a good and happy face, I would like to do that. Uh, it's just, if people are acting stinky, then that's kind of where it becomes stinky myself. But, what do we got going on? Well, we had a stream on Tuesday. I appreciate anybody who did come out yesterday. Uh, obviously, I'm filming this before that even, like, happened. Um, so, you know, I don't even know who came out, but I'm assuming you guys did. I'm trusting you guys did because you're all just goaded as hell. And I know you're awesome, and so I, I think you turned out, and I, I appreciate that. So I'm just going to say thank you ahead of time. We had trouble clearing that first one, so I'm just going to use both my abilities here. Did my three get stuck on the wall? I can't even tell. We'll, we'll probably lose one minion, but probably not two, I don't think. Oh, did she? Oh, she screwed her clearing up, and she got me all my minions. Awesome! We're going to focus the backs and let these guys walk in the tower. Because this is more important, is getting all these last hits. Okay, cool. I have two green pots, so I don't really care that she did that. I knock these guys back and just keep clearing. I'm not fast enough to... Shoes. I'm hoping I didn't lose much XP there. Okay, baby. There's some bursts, yeah. You want to hit me with abilities? Why don't you suck on those next time, Toph? <laughs> that felt good. Whoa. Come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me. Shit. Dude, I'm, gonna, I'm losing XP now because this dumbass. It's like, just leave next time. Why did you keep engaging with him? 
It doesn't make any sense. Why do you have blue stone? Uh, every match, I'm just fucking getting matchmaking dipped by this. This is sickening at this point. I have a blue stone nemesis? Like... I'm so sick of this game, dude. I can't make this shit up. This is every single one of my matches. This is it. This is all of them. I can't I can't do anything about it. This is insane. I have a blue stone jungle nemesis. Thank God. Good for you. Your cuteness is life changing. Bro, this bushy's about to be life changing when you gobble it up like a Big Mac, no pickles. Which I know is ironic, because there's pickles in the Big Mac sauce. Like, I get it. I get it, okay? I understand. But I still order them with no pickles, because I don't like pickles. And I, I'm gonna keep it straight with you guys. Pickles don't belong on a burger, okay? If you have a different opinion on that, that's fine. It's fine that you have that opinion, because guess what? We're all entitled to be wrong sometimes, and you're doing it right now. So, you go ahead, you do you, but... You know, there's a few places pickles belong. In the trash, number one, there you go. Uh, in somebody's ass? Mm, probably, I'm not gonna go searching for them there. But yes, they could do their job there because they already taste like shit. Um, but on a burger? No. And I made some crispy, delicious burgers tonight uh, for dinner. So I know what I'm talking about when it comes to burgers, okay? I hit that because I'm the greatest. Dude, I'm not helping you. I'm going back to base. I don't care what you do. Die. For all I care. She's probably going to die in the next three seconds anyways, to be honest. Okay, she's actually going to get out for once. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to sit here and baby her when she's two levels behind. He's taking her yellow. So I'm going to teach Nemesis. I'm going to ping that so they know. Teach Nemesis a lesson there. It's called self-control. And knowing how to pick your battles. So what we're going to do. There we go. I'm fine using my ult there. It's a pretty low cooldown. All considered, I mean, level 1. Like 75 seconds here. I'm fine with that. Oh my god, how... Oh, it's like playing with soggy little burger boys who think that pickles belong on burgers, but they don't. I need a thoth, baby. Not the god, but the book, baby. What do you think about the book, baby? It was thothing tense. Took his little beak and scribbled on in it. Looks like she's doing a gank on right. And by gank on right, I mean she's stealing his XP and not fighting at all. Now their nemesis shows up and my team loses. Just watching their fight over there because I'm interested. Let me use my three life clear. We're just going to focus on building stacks now. Scylla is also stacking a book of those. She's, in fact, she's going the exact same build as me. So... Fear Sniper. That's right. She has my information. She hacked my computer. And she's just... Looking at what I'm doing, and she's copying me. Let's be honest. That's just facts. You can't prove me wrong. How would you? How are you gonna prove me wrong? You can't, because I'm right. Just like with the pickles. Awesome. Yet again. She shits the bed. Oh my god, she got a kill. Okay, wait, it's turning around. It's turning around. Everybody, stay calm. Alright, we practice for this scenario. Beat her up, because we get more stacks from beating her up than we do from beating the wave up. Clear wave with this, honestly. Step over these little stones as we're doing it. I'm fine using my ult perceptor. It's a good trade, in my opinion. I don't want to do mids because they take too much, make me take too much damage. Ooh. Um. 
Where was I going next? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do mids now. <laughs> You're like, but Roder, you take too much damage. Yeah, but then I find a mobile shop, which means I can pop a green buff. Or a green pot, and just heal back all the damage I've taken from Scylla. And then I'll take from that. And that is a pretty good deal. Oh. Hold that. You should be used to firebenders after sucking Zuko's peener all these years. <laughs> just a little avatar joke for you there. Let me go ahead and drop a little zonage on that. Hit her with my three there. A little slowing field on her. She'll look for a crush on me, most likely. But she's not that guy, pal. Did hit her with that. Awesome. I had to commit to that. It's not actually the missing, right? Just an idiot. Where's my fucking worthless team? They're, you're telling me. So here's here's the situation in case you miss what just happened there. My pathetically worthless team just chased the red task for into the left jungle. Completely lost him. Didn't chase him anymore. Let him run all the way to mid to ult me. Yep. And then they went to gank left and completely failed and wasted their time there. And then they all left and let them use the TP to go straight to right lane. That's what just happened, in case you're confused. So, enjoy that. Enjoy what you just learned. And what you're actually learning is that my teammates are, you know, worthless. Well, that didn't hit, but okay. That didn't hit, but okay. Now they're losing in right again, because I was getting full dived on his T1. By a Cthulhu. Push this guy back a little bit. This is where I wish I had another green pot. Just want that XP to be honest with you. She's already put me so far behind in my lane. Take whatever I can get from her. Take whatever I can get from such a stupid little moron. Womp womp. Dude, do you know what's been cracking me up lately? I've gotten this comment a few times. Um, in matches where... Oh, there's an enemy Newt player? Newt. Do you know who Newt is, guys? I'm gonna ask you that once. Newt is a hunter. It's spelled N-U-T. We comprehending so far? Good. Um, Newt... It's not the same word as new. Okay? You still following along? It's pretty fucking simple. I've had this comment a few times. People are like, huh, why do you hate new players? Why do you hate new players? And I'm sitting there going, I don't hate new players. I have nothing against new players. What are you talking about? And it's because they sit there and they hear me saying newt and they're like, they think I'm shitting on new players. No, I'm saying newt. Newt. Like, oh my god. People, come on. Like, think about... The, we need some media literacy. And that's something you figure out pretty fast. People don't have much of that. <laughs> As you're being a YouTuber, you can make these videos and you realize, oh my god, people are just kind of like... Well, I don't think people are just stupid in general. But I think that they turn their brains off when they watch media. Especially just like online content like this. They just want, like, a break. But then you find people who still just want to be mad about anything they can be mad about. And they look for things to be mad about. While they're not actually thinking. Um, and what that causes is for them to not be thinking. And then get mad at things that they haven't actually thought through all the way. So let's think of the situation where I'm sitting there. In the duo lane. There's a rat in our jungle. Uh, 
How does that not hit? Do you do anything? Like, what do you, what do you usually? I'm gonna use my one for movement speed here. There's a rattle coming. Had a good one there. Feared them all away. I get my three on those guys to start burning them a little bit. I'm gonna use this to get some clones out there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Fear him a little bit. I mean, I don't know what to do, guys. I'm top damage. I'm just slamming damage out there, but... I'm getting... Get off my tower, you little fucking rat faced idiot. Yeah, seriously, get out of here. Who do you think you are? Hit her with that. Let me use my Aegis here. Use my two and my three. Pretty big damage for me. By pretty big, I mean like immensely huge. Can I get some clones on these guys? Looks like she might dash in on me, so I just went ahead and threw my two out there just in case it was a good counter. They should be able to do that fight on their own. They shouldn't need me anymore. So I'm gonna leave. There they go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, we might have brought ourselves back into the game with that fight right there. Um, I'm gonna go for the soul gem now. I think it's a good time to get some sustain in our kit with a little bit of lifesteal. And the passive on it, like I told you earlier, I want these on damage proc items, right? That's what we want, just so we can get in there, slot a bunch of abilities out. We're gonna go Soul Reaver next, I think, and we might finish it off with an Obsidian Shard. And this will just cause us to be able to slam as much damage out as possible. Team is grouping up now a little bit, which is good for us too. Their damage is very huge for us to just go ahead and work together and just collect things, collect kills. I would love to do this. Just... Sure, I'll uh, attack a bastion with you. Funk. <laughs> I love people walking into that. They don't remember how long range that is. There's a uh, rat task in our right jungle, by the way. You can see I'm chasing from that nemesis. Now, our nemesis is doing the same thing she's done all match, which is over committing. Since she keeps over committing. She keeps dying, but luckily that time's gonna work out for her. There we go, we're gonna peel her off right there. It ain't nothing but a thing. I'm just gonna beat her ass, honestly. Whoa. Heal this kid off myself? Because what the heck? Great CC from him. I'm gonna get a clone on that guy. I'm scared of a uh, red task world, honestly. Oh, there's a Medusa. This is why I want some sustain so I can heal up a little bit off these fights. And after we get our start item upgraded, we can um, have full cooldown. Ooh, god damn, I'm slamming, bro. Oh. Okay, I didn't want any XP anyways. I'm gonna do a slowing field here. I think I killed her. No? What ha- where- Sorry, I'm counting damage here. Huh. I don't think that made sense. No, that didn't make sense. First of all, my game is bugged. It's not letting me like highlight things. Okay, there it goes. That did 210 damage to her with my one there. But she's four levels below me. The one is 185 plus 151. 
and the only thing she had giving her any kind of protections was a Thebes. Now that doesn't make sense. She should have she should have died for my my one like two combo. That makes me kind of mad. To be honest with you. Girl up, pussy. I'll do it with the slowing field here. Interesting. I'm gonna use my two here just to create some space if he needs it. Let's do a slowing field right here so he can bite in that. Do a slowing field here as well. Looks like they're gonna back off a little bit. Yeah, I'll try my best to just like peel him there a little bit. I think the team is kind of doing the same. Can we do a uh, Pyromancer, please? Guys, where are you going? Nim. Thank you for listening, but we can interrupt this player too. We just need some objectives at this point. I mean, there's worse guardians it could be than this guy. Whatever. I appreciate he listened to me. She's got a new best friend. So we casted our 1-3 on her. It's the biggest thing with Morgan, is just reminding myself which is which of our numbers. Level 17. Okay. Sustain's a good call, though. I'm glad we went for the uh, Soljin. This Silvana seems like a good player. I think he was just kind of cursed with some dummy dumbs in his in his lane. So that makes me happy. Because I was actually really excited when I saw Sylvanas pick, because I was like, oh, that's really good setup for me. Oh shoot. Made her a best friend there. Dude, did you do too much damage I just did to her? Holy schmacks. Now look at that. Off of my damage, they might just like go for a quick cleanup. Double hit on that. Uh, I'm gonna get a slowing field down. I'm gonna use my two here. Did I hit him with that? I'm gonna focus. Fine. Let's use a slowing field just to cut off area. Throwing my three, but unfortunately I was a little bit of a whiff with it. Using my two for some knock up there. Beautiful knock up by me. Cutting off area with that should be a kill. Awesome. I'm gonna use my three on this Cthulhu just for some tick damage and some movement speed by me. Okay, cool. Oh, I fat finger my beating tins. Dude, we have so many of them dead. Come on, Sylvie. Come on, Sylvie. Stop, stop pushing me. Stop pushing me, buddy. Who can tank? Erlon can tank. Perfect. Go for it, buddy. We're looking at uh, Effigy when it spawns. Rad Tasker might have ultimate. We talked about our positioning several times on this channel. So right now we're going to go ahead and put that into action. And what I mean by that is making sure we're facing this way, which is where he's going to come in the jungle from the attacking position. Secure now. Yeah, I didn't even secure it. Somebody on my team did, but either way, it gets the bongos drumming, doesn't it? I'm going to go for the Reaver, like I said earlier. Going for just, just high power build. I might even end with a Chahuti instead of a uh, Obsidian Shard. The thing is, uh, Obsidian Shard versus Chahuti as a final item, the logic for it kind of goes like this. How many bulky, tanky enemies do they have. For us, it's really only Cthulhu. Rat went damage, so we don't need to worry about him technically being this big tanky guy. So I could even not go Soul Reaver if I wanted to, but I still do want to burst down this Cthulhu faster, so I'm going to go for the Soul Reaver. 
However, we don't need the Obsidian Shard like I told you in the beginning of this match that we might get because we don't need to burst down anybody with a bunch of protections on them. So what we'll do instead is just go full big power with a Tahuti. What that's going to do is going to allow us to do a bunch of extra damage just to these Squishies, which can just let us pack them down. I actually caught up with my fear there. Watch this. Hit that. Go ahead, throw that out there. Maybe a little careful here. Enemy ultimate incoming. Looks like he's gonna run away with it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit her with a slowing field there. I actually knocked up Nemesis there. That was beautiful by me. Let's hit a slowing field here. And going straight into a three. I'm going to use my knockback here so we can actually CC these guys. Use a slowing field here, I think, for my two. Be a good idea. We're going to slot out a three into the jungle if we think we need it. Looks like we're not going to. I might actually even play the side from this fight. Let's get a slowing field on this guy, perhaps. This is a good ult for me. And that was decent damage. I could have done a little better on that. Let's go ahead and throw out some clones here. That's really bad. Let's get Fire Giant. Yeah, they see it. They see the same thing I do, which is let's get a bomb because our sieging is not very good right now. Only because fighting in the jungle or fighting un Whoa. Okay. No worries. I think I might have just became the best Morgan Le Fay player in the entire fucking world. Like, I just got an achievement for that. I'm, like, really proud of myself for that fight. <laughs> like, that just felt so soul-cleansingly beautiful, what I just pulled off there. Because I just went into my abilities so perfectly, casting them into each other to fear the rat off of me. And then immediately going in to use my three to get some movement speed. My two for some knockback and CC. Just everything perfectly how it needed to be to just go ahead and clap these guys up. We have eight seconds to look at Thulu, but in my opinion, I think we can end. Now he might focus me a little bit. That's the only thing we need to be scared about. Nemesis might focus me too. I'm gonna die here, unfortunately, I think. No, wait. He's gonna die here, because he sucks. I'm great. Okay. I'm gonna throw a slowing field here. I just need him to be behind me there, along Shin. Throw a slowing field there, too. Now. Oh my god, Nemesis! I don't want to fight this anymore. I'm leaving. If they want to throw... Hey, man. That's up to you. That's between you and God. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I say that as an atheist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's that's with you, brother, man. You do whatever you want there. But I'm going to go back to base. Probably take a shot at Aquila so I can feel some burn and actually, you know... I mean, I don't feel much anymore in my life, so I might as well feel some... Burn is something good like that. Might dive me here. Beautiful. Awesome. Sylvie is such a good fucking support. Sylv, so, you are goaded. Like, that, that was good damage for me. You can see it right there. But, like, 
he just had such good setup for me. I don't do that without his setup. I hit Rat with that. Oh my god, I'm so freaking goaded right now, bro. Nah, Chief, I'm ending. Holy hell. Look at that damage. My ult was great there. Eight and two? Well, for whoever requested some Morgan Le Fay, hopefully that was enough for you. Like, I'm really happy with that. I feel like I just had the flow going on. I was even like switching between my one, two, and three options inside of my one and choosing different times. Like, okay, this looks like the perfect time to go ahead and use this slowing field because the enemies are grouping up. Looks like if I do a fear right here, I can maybe get some extra autos on them and secure some more uh, damage from my three and my two. Like the two just self peel is so good. What is this? Smite award, strength drawn from pain. What is that? Sounds like an award you get when you get fucked in the ass for the first time. What are you trying to tell me, Smite? Anyways, let's check out the stats here. 42 grand damage. Jesus, man. First of all, the Sylvanas, great support. I was a little worried in the early game, but when I saw him rotate and started having fights with him, I was like, dude, he's actually goaded. And that, with that game right there, to be clear, we won because of me, but we won because of him. Like his CC pulling the Cthulhu in when he knew I could burst him and I went into my ult and had a one before that and just smacked all of them with my ult and then was able to go over and actually secure the nemesis and then a second later secure that Cthulhu and then chase it down lane and just end the game with him because he tanked the actual Titan for me and was stuck on me with that rat when he jumped on me and I used my beads and everything like he was just working in tandem with me perfectly to go ahead and grab the dub so I really really appreciate that like that was all me and him there at the end uh, not the rest, the rest of the team the nemesis was kind of goofy like you can tell like just was enough to win luckily better than this dude <laughs> but still goofy but either way geez i hope you guys do enjoy if you did want to leave a like subscribe i very much appreciate that a few reminders if you want to see the next live stream make sure you are going and clicking that twitch link in the description so you can go ahead and follow him it might be on friday for the next stream most likely if you want to go ahead and buy a founder's pack if you're going to buy one anyways check out my smite nexus link i'm going to have that in the description too that supports me if you want to do that i very much appreciate it but i think that's everything i have to say to you guys so as for today i'm going to go ahead and say have a great day